The next question is for Ms. Boyce. And I'm going to ask the same question to Ms. Romeo afterwards. Okay. If you become county clerk, what's the first thing you would try to implement within the clerk's office? The first thing I would definitely inst have in, in the Monroe County Clerk's Office is an appointment and confirmation system. I think that not being able to fill all the slots of a, a customer service is very important, and I believe that people want to know that they can get in the county clerk's office if there's, an, if there's an opportunity. Also, opening the mobile DMVs, as I've stated several times this evening, I think will make things different within the county clerk's office. I think people will be less frustrated. I, you know, I, again, I said, you know, if my doctor can do it, my hairdresser can do it, they can ask me if I am going to show up for an appointment, there should be no reason why the county clerk's office can't do that. I also believe that professional development for the employees and support is very, very important. So those are just a few things that I'd like to see in my first term of office. Ms. Thank Boyce. you. Thank you. Jumped the gun there on my part. <laughs> Ms. Romeo, the question is to you now. You are relatively new to the role, so if you do have any big plans, a lot of them are still to take effect, especially given the pandemic. So what would be one of your major improvements to the office in the coming year? This is a great question. Um, and one of the things that I learned rather quickly before upon coming into this office is that there, there had been a higher rate of some turnover for staff and it's hard to fill some of the vacancies we have for individuals to come in and work. I know sometimes people are just, well, hire more people. One of the reasons that is is because the, the current, most of our members, most of our staff are CSCA members. And county workers have been under attack in this community for decades. And workers within the county clerk's office are some of the lowest paid in, the, in all of county government. Um, we have a class of workers that work both in our downtown filing office and in our DMVs that don't make state minimum wage yet because contracts prohibit them from doing that. And that's a failure in the county Republican Party for years, that for years under the Brooks and Denolfo administration constantly never fairly negotiated with CSCA. I walked that picket line for them with, for years, and this is the result of that. We can't encourage people to come work in this organization because the wages are not sustainable. One of the things that I've been working on and one of the things that I'm committing to is to making sure that we are adequately supporting and paying people not just with training, but by with paying them and, and respecting them and honestly valuing the work that they do. Um, the staff that work in our office have tremendous respect for our community and their public servants and they know that the work that they do is important. We as county government need to do that as well. All right. Thank you. So that ends our question.